Hey, he's not a nerd. Leave it alone. I'm learning so much about technology today. I had to wear some Snapchat glasses. Oh, yes. I don't, I don't, I'm not on Snapchat, so I don't really know how it works. I was like, are we snapping right now? And she was like, don't, just, <laughs> just let it go. Um, um, it was, uh, it's, I, I've been saying this a lot today. It just felt like coming home. You know, it was like, we are so close as a group working, but then also in our, in our personal lives too. So, um, the fact that the fans still want this movie is the reason it's getting made or the, and everyone has been so supportive. Um, so for us, it's like we get this gift of getting to come back together and doing this thing that we love because of the fans, you guys. And so it's, it, was, it was kind of emotional. And to, just like today, like I, we went out on the panel and I was like, I was really struck by how kind of like emotional it was. It was like, I don't know. Um, so it's been, it was incredibly special. Obviously we missed him, but yeah, so it's great. It's great. Can we talk a little bit about the generational appeal of the series? Because, you know, we spoke to a couple other people earlier just about how, you know, parents and families are sharing this yeah. series with their children and grandchildren. I think, I, you know what, it's one of the things that um, I think we feel so good about, uh, about the show and feel kind of proud of is this, the fact that we run into families a lot and they're like, I can, like, they watch it as a family, like, families watch the show together. I think that the parents in their 30s, you know, 40s, like, get the 80s references, and it's really fun. And the kids, because it's just kind of a light, colorful, goofy show. Like, I don't know. There are all these, like, catchphrases and fun things that I think kids do now that I'm like, these kids these days. Um, but, you know, like, so, and because we were so active on social media, I think, and, like, our, our marketing people were so big in social media, it did appeal to the sort of younger crowd. Um, but I think parents get a lot of the references. And it, it does have sort of adult themes at times. So, But it never really crosses a line into something that uh, a, I think a parent would be like, oh, I don't want my kid to see this, or this is too much, or this is... So we sort of, we keep it pretty light, even with some of the stuff that we do, <laughs> even though we're dealing with murder and crime. Um, yeah, so, but I, I love that. So I love that question, too, because I've, I've, it always strikes me when I run into, like, a family, and they're like, oh, I, we all watch this together. I feel like that's kind of rare these days. So, anyway. If you were to fake a superpower like Sean does in real life, based on a skill you have, yeah. what do you think you could convince people that you have superpower-wise? What do I think I could convince them of? Or, like, what would you try what I would to love? sell? <laughs> Time travel. Yeah, I thought you were talking about Like, I could, like, go back in the future and be like... I mean, I just think today we're dealing with so much, like, media and news. What's real and what's not? Like, you almost wonder the stories... Now I'm going to get, like, carried away. But, like, the stories that we've heard over time in history, like, about what's real and what's... Like, it would just be fun to go back. Like, is that what really happened? Like, I don't know. So, yeah. Or go into the future, too, and sort of see. Although I don't know if I'd want to know the future, but... Yeah, time travel has always been very intriguing to me. I say that like it's a thing. <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. <laughs> In the movie? Um, well, I can't say much, which is why I kind of feel terrible in some of these interviews because I'm just like, like, what can you tell us about the movie? I'm like, nothing. I can't say anything. Um, uh, the Chief and I, our relationship, I think, has gone to uh, uh, another level, which is uh, was really, really fun to play. And then, um, what else can I say? Still running in heels. <laughs> Just not as graceful as I used to be. Huh? You know what? Thank you for saying that. Because uh, it's not easy. And that was like one of the things when we, I remember the first day uh, I was in heel, like, will give something away and I had to run and I was like wow I forgot, <laughs> I forgot. this is no joke right now um, I can tell you that I can say Sean and Juliet their relationship is progressing um, that's all. <laughs> yeah. 
so you've obviously spent a lot of time with Juliet as, yeah. as a character. Is there anything you found you're surprised to learn about yourself as an actress as you explored like the many years with this character? You know what? I, it's it's interesting because it's a good question. I mean, it started off. I think my character started off really like naive and kind of like navigating this madness of this world that you know this detectives and uh, fake psychic detectives and a boy she kind of liked and like I mean it was just a lot uh, in the very beginning but then over time I think I was like excited to explore the like I know that we always say badass Lassiter and badass Juliet like but I feel like they went that direction um, a little more than I thought they would and I really really enjoyed that like over the course of the series and I think there was like there were some emotional moments that my character had that like I loved that the writers just weren't afraid to go there and um, and explore so I think I was surprised with it being a comedy overall just as a show um, that we went there sometimes like we actually went there with some relationships and when you spend eight years together there is like this rooted kind of feeling that the group has so there is like this emotional like through line that we all kind of share so I think that I think that that makes those moments even deeper and more effective and this might be the most boring interview you guys have ever done but because I'm just kidding but like I that was one of the things I loved because I got to be, it was fun to be funny, but it was also fun to make as well. the show on Netflix and those guys too are so funny um, so to play uh, the straight man off of these sort of larger than life kind of characters is, is easy because they're so good and they're so genuinely funny and if I'm just literally reacting to them then sometimes I think the reactions can be as funny as as the actual uh, like whatever I'm reacting to because I think that um, I think I would be the audience, like I'm the rest of us sort of going like, did you really just do that or say that or, you know, whatever. So it's sort of fun to like laugh along with everyone, but um, they made it easy. They make it easy. I really just have to be in the scene with them. I don't have to do anything. They, they do everything, but not with them. I could see where it would be like if, if you're up against somebody who's not that funny. <laughs> I would be like, I don't want to laugh, okay? Like, I don't want to react. It's not funny. But no, I, I love both of them so much. So, yeah.